Hey everyone, so I wanted to take a minute here tonight. It is uh, Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. It's a long day. Um, tomorrow starts again in the morning with a trip out to OSA Auctions um, where I have an estate um, canister sitting there being taken care of. Just got an auction closed with them this week, as a matter of fact, as well, too. Just another estate being cleaned up. But one of the things I wanted to share with you today was just what's going on here in this desk and what I do for people um, so that you have a better in, a better understanding of all of the different things that I can do for you. There's plenty of time in a day. I do really well at keeping everything as organized as I possibly can, especially with my ADHD brain. Um, but I'm very thorough. And when I'm with people, I'm with them. To the end. So right now I'm helping a family sell a house in Amherstburg. The house is just too much to carry for them as interest rates have ticked up. And they're going to rent for a while probably about a year, just to give themselves a chance to breathe and be a family again, rather than having to fight through piles of debt. I'm helping a nurse and his family move to Tennessee, the Knoxville area. And there's a few bumps in the road in Tennessee with title, clear title for the property that he's supposed to be closing on the 12th, that's not necessarily going to be closing on the 12th now, we just found out today. Of course, it's Friday. We find these things out on all of the wrong days. But we're working through those things, negotiating through a few things. Should have some answers for him very, very soon. Um, he did get a job offer today um, at the University Medical Center as an ICU nurse in the neurological department. So all the right reasons to be helping him move on with his life and spend the rest of his life in the hills of Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm helping an investor. This is another one, interesting one. I'm helping an investor sell a house here in Riverside. Um, he bought the house. Again, one of those people that likes to do good things for people. He bought the house to do a rent to own for somebody. Unfortunately, that person moved in and never paid a dime. Um, and that person was finally booted out of the house, and now we're going to be selling that house so that he can just reconsolidate back to Toronto. I'm also helping an immigrant to Canada. This is another very interesting one. Back at the pinnacle of the market, he wanted to buy a house. He had no more than $250,000 to spend. We tried. But there just was not anything that he could buy at that point in time for $250,000 in the city of Windsor. He persevered, though, bought a house for $280,000 off market, did $60,000 of renovations to the house. So he's got about $340,000 in it. He didn't finish it, though. And it's not on the most pleasant road in the city of Windsor. I'm hoping, by reducing my commissions for him, I'm hoping to break even. Because, again, he just cannot afford the 6% interest rate. I tried. I tried. I tried. To talk him out of what he wanted to do back at the pinnacle of the market. And I said, just wait a few years, stay renting. Oh, I can't keep renting, Brian. I've got to get out of where I am. I want to make a better life for my family. And I tried. And he called me up and he said, you know, you're the only realtor. You're the only person I've ever ran into. That's been brutally honest with me the whole way through. I need to talk to you. Can you come by? It's tough medicine, unfortunately. I'm helping a 92-year-old in the process of negotiating out the contract with a 92-year-old to be able to sell her house 
and to be able to shelter because she's in a beautiful place now her old house is beautiful too but to be able to shelter those assets um from probate and from lawyers if i win that contract it's a very substantial contract let's put it that way it would be the largest wealth client i've ever had i'm helping a couple in ottawa i go very very far with my career path i'm helping a couple in ottawa do some life insurance planning as he heads to retirement um, he's getting ready to retire in a couple of years, works for the government in one of the prisons, um, is in some kind of psychological department. Um, a lot of things going on with him. Very interesting guy. Been a client of mine for a while, and he wanted to do a little bit more life insurance planning. I'm helping a father and son here in Windsor um, with some life insurance as the son is piling up debt that the dad co-signed for to be able to get through medical school. And what they were concerned with is, hey, what happens if something happens to one or the other of us? How can we make sure that this debt is paid for? It's a life insurance question. I'm helping another, I just had, he just reached out today too. I'm helping another client with some life insurance planning as he left a note for me today saying that he, he's ready to have a conversation about how to leave some legacy for his children. He's of the Indian community and to him, he wants to leave some kind of an asset tax-free to his children. And so we're in the process of being able to get our heads around that a little bit as well too. Um, I have another couple that's in retirement. They have a little bit of whole life life insurance and they're asking me, hmm, should we have a little bit more um, term life life insurance just, just to add a little bit more to the nest egg? They have an okay nest egg, but I'm kind of thinking that, yeah, it doesn't hurt to have another $100,000. It just would be a nice little cushion in case something happened earlier. So we're looking at that as well, too. I'm appraising a collection of art, of all things, um, in a law firm. Um, it's a law firm I work very, very closely with. They were like, you know, we're getting ready to do some new insurance planning on the building here, Brian, and we do have this art. What's it even worth? It's just been sitting here on the walls for a long time. Um, so I've been going through and trying to figure out what the value of that art actually is learning some new things along the way as I go with that. Um, I'm also giving them an assumption of value for the fair market value of the building that they're in um, because they're thinking about doing some refinancing things there as well too this year. Um, I'm helping a local teacher, this is one for this week, I'm helping a local teacher and her hubby who's a police sergeant and the city of Windsor clean out her dad's estate or the garage of her dad's estate. Um, and I've made the resource over to OSA Auctions um, for them to go by and take a look and see if they could help that family. I'm helping a local, uh, that was that, I'm helping a young resident here in Windsor have a closing for next week. Right on track still. That's good. I'm managing all of that. I'm helping a, um, a young resident here in Windsor move uh, from her home that her mom bought her when she started college here. And have loaned her some funds for the first and last on her apartment. All we did was I said, sure, I'll go ahead and front you the money for the first and last. Since I know that I've got the real estate closing coming up. And then on the real estate closing, then the lawyer will just cut me the check back for a zero interest loan um, to her. Um, so that I get my money back as well, too, so that she can move into this new apartment. I've also helped her. I asked her, do you need any help moving? If you need any help moving, please let me know. I need to build it into my schedule um, so that I can try to be there to be able to help you some. Not very, very strong, especially with as cold as it is. And my heart valves don't like the cold weather as much, but I can still try to help her as much as I possibly can. Um, the benefit of the sale of her house next week, by the way, too, is that all of those student loan debts will be all paid off and there's going to be a little bit left over. So it might end up being a car for her. I'm not sure exactly what mom's going to decide to do. And lastly, I'm helping a kind of a friend. 
a guy by the name of Jerry who lives in Florida. He's a retiree in Florida. Used to sell cars for a living, by the way. I sell a lot of cars. There's a lot of cars up there for sale. Um, and um, he he's, a, he's an amputee, retiree amputee living in Florida. He's bought cars from me. He has a brother that has like six booths at a, at a flea market. Um, and uh, the brother was saying, Hey, you know, if you go buy some cars, send them to me, I'll sell them for you. <sighs> Family and business many times does not mix. And in this particular case, the brother hasn't been selling any of the cars that Jerry's been sending to him. Jerry's asked for the cars back so that he can put them on his own Etsy channel, and I'm helping Jerry rationalize the value of his own Etsy channel and telling his story. People are buying cars from Jerry, and Jerry's shipping them out as best as he possibly can. He lets everybody know, hey, I'm an old retiree and military kind of guy, sold cars for a living, but it's going to take me a little bit of time for shipping. I only have one leg in this darn wheelchair but I will take care of the shipping for your cars. And people are starting to tune in to his Etsy channel. And he's like, Brian, hey, you were right. Just by telling my story a little bit, all of a sudden people are coming in and saying, hey, I want to I wanna be part of that story. I want to help you. I want to, you know, he doesn't really need any help. His wife died a couple of years ago as well, too. And there's a great big lawsuit about um, all of that, that hopefully will be coming and getting taken care of sometime soon this year. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed for Jerry. He's been through quite a bit. Um, and so it's kind of a, a great big game of monopoly, monopoly that I play here. That's why getting away on the cruise was important. You know, everybody knew, okay, Brian's going away on a cruise. He's not going to be around for a while. Let him go do his thing with his family. Um, and I'm right back into the, <laughs> into the middle of it all. Um, and what's fun about this career path, this, this thing that I've built, um, is that it's never a dull moment. There's always things going on. There's always things that can be done. Um, and it's just kind of fun. It's not just kind of fun. It's fun. When I go to work or when I get up in the morning and I come to work, because it's just a walk around the corner here, um, it's, it's all my thing. And that's what's really, really valuable to me about it. I can continue to keep doing this as long as I'm healthy and capable of doing it. Um, and it's so widely varied. It keeps my ADHD brain going very, very well. If there's one thing that I kind of suck at, though, just to be honest with you, that I work very hard at trying to get better at, it is paperwork just the paperwork because I find it very, very boring. I find it very boring. Okay. I got to scan this in and put this in the internet here and put this in the internet there. I just find it very, very boring because I'm not really helping anybody when I'm doing paperwork, I'm just helping paper go on to an internet. Um, maybe at some point in time, I hire somebody to be able to help me to do that. Um, but it's okay. I muddle through. It's like pulling molars for me sometimes, but I muddle through. And so that just gives you an idea of the things that I'm working on in my office here to start the new year. If you have some things that you would like to bring into my office, I do have time. Um, I'm getting some of these things done um, and uh, getting them to a point where they don't need as much care every day. Um, and, uh, so if you have a project that you need some help with, um, that you'd like to chat at least with me about, um, don't hesitate to pick up the phone. Give me a jingle. 519-995-6145. 519-995-6145. Trevor, my employee, uh, the great, amazing Trevor is back. He just got back in tonight at 930, um, from his holiday break as well, too. He got a nice little Christmas bonus that really surprised the heck out of him. So thank you for helping me to do that for him. Um, and uh, I can't wait to catch up to find out what his trip to California was like um, and kind of share some trip stories. 
um, should be fun. I've also got a box of stuff down here on the floor um, ready to go for him so that I can put him back to work and, you know, he can be able to start making some money right away again, too. That's been a little bit of a challenge because it has been a little bit crazy busy. Um, but by doing a little bit every day, then there's a box of stuff for him to be able to get started on um, when he's ready. So probably Sunday I'll drop that off and next week he'll start working on that again. Um, and classes, of course, start for him next week too. He might be the one that helps me with the paperwork side of the equation. There is another thing coming up here on my YouTube channel here um, in that I have a YouTube specialist that um, he and I chatted before the holidays. Um, and we're going to be chatting here next week um, to look at ways uh, to be able to possibly bring him on board um, to be able to rationalize out this Etsy channel and to maybe move things around a little bit. There's a couple of things that are launching. Trevor's going to be helping me launch Bing Bliss and Turner. That's coming very, very soon. Very soon. Um, there's currently five houses for sale on Bing Bliss and Turner. Um, and uh, the program I'm developing out will be targeting Big Bliss and Turner very, very hard. Um, and the goal is to capture about 10% of that market um, that sells every year. So more on that coming later. Um, but uh, those really are the biggest things that I really need to get accomplished for this year. Um, the rest of it is all pretty much just doing this, helping people. Um, hey, Brian, can you help me with, of course, it's what I do. It's how I get paid. Um, that's how money piles up in my bank account as well, too, is just reaching out and helping people. But that gives you some kind of an idea of the things I do every single day as I'm in the new year. Um, when I go to work every single day tomorrow, tomorrow I got to be in Amherstburg. Um, and then I got to be out at OSA auctions all the way out in Lakeshore, basically all the way out in Lakeshore the, beyond the Bell River. I'll probably take Luigi to do that tomorrow, depending upon what the weather is like. Um, he hasn't been driven in a while, so we'll get him out and get his battery charged back up since he's been sitting for about a week and a half now. Um, as long as he starts, he should start okay. Um, if not, then, of course, um, Wilbur can go ahead and jumpstart him, too, so... It's all good. Um, and so thanks for following along, understanding a little bit if I can help you in any way. 519-995-6145. 519-995-6145. Have a great night. Bye-bye.